Thank you for stopping by Genesis Warranty Solutions and the Adjustable Bed Doctor's YouTube channel where you can learn to repair your adjustable bed instead of replacing it, saving yourself some big bucks. Today we're going to get into the Sleep Number second generation or better known as the 2.0 series. Uh, this is going to cover diagnostic troubleshooting with the current model out as well. Uh, that uses the newer style control box like you see here. So um, first thing we want to talk about is one of some of the most common troubles that we see with these beds. I mean, although they are very reliable, adjustable beds, but sometimes, unfortunately, they do encounter their problems. And when they do, we uh, just kind of want to bring it to your attention and show you things that you can do at home uh, if you own one of these beds to, to help you hopefully get it back working quick. All right, so first thing that we see with these beds is when they're plugged into a surge protector. Uh, it's not necessary to have them into a surge protector. You start ending up with connectivity uh, codes and uh, loss of connectivity, error messages, and things like that. And the reason you don't need to plug these into a surge protector is because these sleep number boxes have a thermal protection built into it. It's kind of like a, a switch in your house or a, a, the... Um, breaker, your electric breaker. This thing will trip and you can actually cut it off and then reset it. But that's why you don't need to have it in a surge protector. Next thing is, is sometimes these battery compartment doors um, tend to break at the little tab right here and they don't want to stay on right. And, and the batteries pop out, it's left unattended for several hours. And next thing you know, you come back and you've got a connectivity error message and it won't work. So, but the best thing to do is, um, um, check the batteries, make sure they're, um, you know, they're fresh and they're new and worst case scenario, just do a reset. Now, if you're not sure on how to do a reset, check with your, your owner's manual that should have came with your sleep number adjustable bed, like you see here. But, um, you can actually, uh, start, if you look, look on the remote controls here, it's, it pretty much tells you what to do. Like this right here, is this a, a new, uh, or is this a replacement or a second remote? So we're just going to do a mock here just to kind of show you how the uh, command system works and how you can go about resetting these beds. So, um, we're going to, uh, select that. Um, and uh, basically that's the firmness control if you have that. Uh, but for this particular thing, we're gonna skip that. Um, that's for your pump, we're gonna skip that. Um, we're gonna skip that. That's for the dual temp if your bed has it. If you wanna put in your name, right now we're not gonna put in a name here. But um, anyway, so that you get past that point to where, okay, you get into system here. You can actually toggle down and you're gonna get into system and settings and then I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, but that's how you go in to do a set, a, a, a reset. Now there's two types of reset. There's just a, a regular, regular old reset that usually will restore connectivity and then there's a master reset uh, that's a little bit more involved, but it, it can be done. It's just follow the prompts on the screens. That'll help you through there. So, but those are the two biggest things, plugged into surge protectors and the batteries. Um, Next thing we want to talk about, um, we want to talk about codes, okay? So if if there's a particular issue uh, with the sleep number beds, um, the remotes will display a code um, on the screen there. I mean, your remotes, you know, they could be the, 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 the 12 button, the more complicated one, or the simple three button, and there's a couple in between there. But uh, these are just examples of what you may have. Uh, these are the new control boxes on the brand new sleep number beds. Uh, another issue we see sometimes with these, uh, the head actuators or the foot actuator motors will go bad, and it'll typically uh, set a code that's relative to that. So I'm going to put a link here, or actually where you can look at the code or what we call the tech sheet, uh, cheat sheet, uh, so you can kind of help you self-diagnose this bed. But, uh, sometimes with the harness uh, that you see right here, now it runs and it plugs right into your control box. You know, it, it, check these connections. Check those connections. Um, also where it plugs in. Sometimes we've seen these harnesses uh, have a short in them. Uh, seen where little kitties or doggies bite into them, little tiny, and it shorts them out. Um, these boxes here are designed 
to protect the system, not only from, you know, catching on fire in the event, you know, a surge happened, but, but also to protect the system. Let's say this actuator motor fails. Okay. So it'll shut down everything on the bed. I know that's annoying, but it happens. Even if something as simple as your massage motor going back and trip a code and stop the bed from working. But the good thing is, is knowing which code, um, the bed is producing, um, you know, the more you'll know, but, um, We'll get uh, more into about the codes and putting up that list with the codes. Uh, but again, just kind of recapping, uh, once we know what the code is, we can isolate it what, down to what part that may have failed all the way down to the actual control box has failed. So, um, you know, that the more you know about it and the more you can diagnose, you could, you know, whoever you talk to at the customer service center or you speak to one of us, uh, the more you can tell us about what kind of trouble you're having, the better off we can do to assist you and help you and, and get you through all this. But, um, but I hope this has been somewhat uh, helpful. Those are the biggest things you want to look for in these beds. Um, again, it doesn't matter if it's the next generation that you see here, or it's the, uh, the two, the second generation, um, that use these types of remotes and everything. The, you know, the problems and the codes are going to be universal and the same. So, uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope this was useful and helpful.